Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, I found a warp pipe. Hey, hey. You, uh, seem really into that game, Justin. Oh, yeah. It's, it's the latest Mario game, man. It's freaking awesome. You know, I haven't played Mario games in years. Well, you also haven't owned a Nintendo console in a long while, either. No, even before that, I, uh, kind of lost interest in the series when I realized the overarching story was about a man addicted to going to recall. I know I'm going to regret this, but, um, explain? Well, Mario is a plumber by trade, correct? Yes. Alright, so he's got a really grueling job that is not at all glamorous. Whew. And it's even worse if he actually lives in the Mushroom Kingdom. I mean, having to fix giant broken pipes full of the waste of not just humans, but also toadstools, Yoshis, and the occasional Goomba? Talk about a thankless job. Oh, great. Now I'll never get that image out of my head. Anyway, what was Mario's first adventure? Uh, when he went to go save the Mushroom Kingdom and Princess Peach slash Toadstool, depending on who you ask. Ah, but that was the first time Mario was in the title. His first adventure, however, is Donkey Kong. You see, the first trip was probably a vacation or maybe a birthday present. Uh, either way, Mario and his girlfriend Pauline went and got the Damsel in Distress package. Pauline got to see her boyfriend risk his all to save her, and Mario got to be a hero and beat up a monkey. A trip enjoyed by all. Donkey Kong Jr. would have been him going back on his own. This time he got to play a villain, you know, get a different perspective on it. It was okay, but not quite as enjoyable. Yeah, but the sequel's already hard on the creative team. True. But this was the first dangerous sign of Mario's addiction. He had found an escape from his, pun intended, shitty life. And like so many news reporters would have you believe of online gaming, he soon became lost to it. So that's when he saved the Mushroom Kingdom and Princess Peach. Exactly. Explain to me, outside of a fictional story, or in this situation, a virtual simulation, how a mild-mannered plumber is the one man to take down Bowser. I mean, Peach is a frickin' princess. Explain to me how the Mushroom Kingdom has neither an army nor palace guards, at the very least, to prevent all these kidnappings. I mean, if this were a real-world event, the Toadstool version of SEAL Team 6 would have been sent to Bowser's castle to eliminate him and his creepy kids with extreme prejudice. A, a common man becoming a one-man wrecking crew is something you only see in action films. And that would explain Super Mario Bros. 2's ending when you find out it was all just a dream based on the false memories he had implanted. And why the third game is all a stage play. Yes, this also explains how Bowser keeps being allowed to get away to rebuild his numerous castles and armies. It's all a fake, a simulation. It's all recall. Okay, you got me convinced that these are false memories. But, how do you prove that Mario's an addict? I mean, for all we know, he does this every year for his birthday. And, well, for that one, you have to kind of look at the overall quality of the games. I mean, Super Mario Paper, Sunshine, Galaxy. Mario's in such a desperate need of a fix, he goes for whatever the latest program from Recall happens to be. This trip he's a doctor. This time he's a race car driver. Now he's a ball player. And that makes so much sense right there why he's playing all these games, not just with his friends, but with the villains as well, because that cuts down on the time spent on the programmers, right? You got it. To Mario's implant-addled mind, the flimsiest illusion is enough, so long as it gets him out of his reality. I mean, the final game of the series is probably going to start with him getting a video message from himself. You, I'm not you, you're me, Mario. And she. I don't know if he'll inform him about some conspiracy or just send him off to topple Bowser, but either way, he's telling himself to get his ass some stars. <laughs> so that's good. Get your ass some stars. <laughs> get your ass to Mars. I know. Sometimes these just come to the head. Anyway, this gets him traveling the various castles in Bowser's kingdom, as per usual. Donkey Kong plays the Richter role, trying to kill him along the way. He meets some kind of rebel leader, but twist. It turns out Mario had been working with Bowser before he got his memory erased. 
No. And somewhere you can put in a three-titted prostitute. In the end, he kills Bowser dead. And then, just before Princess Peach can give Mario a kiss on the cheek, we flash to white. And there he is, lying there, lobotomized on a table. Because this was just one trip too many for him. Like a blue shell with cerebral cortex, it was coming, and there was no stopping it. Really, it's the only satisfying end of the series. <laughs> Which means it's never gonna happen. Eh, sad but true. Get your ass and stars. <laughs> Come on in. Hey, um, weird question. Hmm? Did you ever find Wendy Koopa kind of hot? Just, just asking for a friend is all. Get your ass some stars. You know what? This game would look so much better if it was in VR. Well, you're already a drooling vegetable. <laughs>